The back side of the sector also has scales on it. The first one we're going to talk about is the line of cords marked with the C here. It's this bottom row. Uh, you can see we're using the center pivot point on the sector. There's a little divot there for the dividers. What we can do is use this scale to set the sector at a predetermined angle up to 90 degrees and also to measure angles. To set the sector at the angle of our choosing, we're going to pick 20 degrees here. The first thing is we'll set up our dividers by placing one point in the pivot point and one point at 20 degrees. The next thing we'll do is we'll set our dividers in the little bullseye holes next to the C's and open the sector up until the divider drops into the holes. The outside of the sector is now set at 20 degrees. I would want to note that the inside edges are 6 degrees less than the outside edges. So if I wanted to set the inside at 20 degrees, I would have to start with my dividers at 20 plus 6, which would be 26 degrees. I'd use the same holes, I just have to remember to add 6 degrees to set the inside at a specific angle. The sector can also be used to measure angles. Here I've got the outside edges of the sector to match the angle drawn on this board. Once I have it matched, I'll take my dividers and put them in those two bullseye marks. Next, I'll place the dividers in the center pivot, and I'll observe where the second point lands on the scale. It looks like we've got about 24 and a half degrees. We can use the inside of the sector to measure angles rather than the outside. Again, we just have to remember when we bring our dividers down here to measure the angle, it's going to show 6 degrees more than it actually is. We just need to compensate.